let's talk about the amount of material that they're they're actually putting through there. We know there's a set amount of emissions that they're allowed to have, and um, that probably uh, is connected to the amount of material that they're running through the <laughs> incinerator. So I'm assuming they, they weigh these packages or when they're declared, or how does that process work? Well, the way it's supposed to be done, the way the state law told us we could do is burn, each container we burned has to be weighed and scanned, each one separately. But we put like three, four, five, six of them on there to scale the time and scan one of them and throw everything up in on the belt. And and that was that was because you were being ordered to do it that way by plant supervisors? Yes. And so only one in five or six bags was actually getting weighed? Yeah. Were there managers that were just, were they telling you to feed it through faster and faster at, at all expenses? Yes. This kind of keep the warehouse less clear because I mean, as fast as all the medical waste coming, we could keep up with it. There's, there's no possible way one incinerator needs to have to keep up with everything. Back to the amount of waste that's actually coming through and what's honestly being weighed and, and uh, acknowledged uh, that is being burned in the incinerator. Um, did you find that they were storing waste on site yes. you know, for longer? Then it's supposed to be, we understand that once the waste actually comes in, it's only supposed to sit on site for a certain amount of time. Is that correct? Yeah, I told them as long as it could sit was 48 hours. And but we'd have what they call a dry storage. I can't remember what the boxes were called, like the number of the boxes, but they're like these big white, like probably around like four by four boxes, like, like four feet wide, four feet long, and about maybe two feet deep. And we empty the BT of one of them to go shove them in the dry storage. That's what they have us do with them. And there's trailers that were full that would be out there for like a week. And what was the purpose of, of keeping it out of the warehouse, making it look nicer? Because legally, someone, like, someone can't go up there and ask to break a sale on a trailer unless it's DOT. Mm -hmm. So they can't just come and break the sale, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's how they kind of hide some of the stuff.